Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. Today we're going to do an update on the apple bagging and show you some ripe apples and how big they got. All right, so if you've been watching the channel a few months ago, we bagged a lot of our apples on our trees and we've been eating the apples probably for about a month now. And so I thought I'd just show you some of the results of bagging the apples. So we used just Ziploc bags. I'll put a link in the description that shows how we start these off when they're just like uh, an inch diameter or less in these bags. So this was just a windfall. We mostly just eat the windfalls because we know they're ripe and they land on the grass and don't get bruised or anything. But you can see this apple has stretched this bag out completely. And I do not know the variety of this apple. It's pretty sweet. And it's just really, really big. Um, I grafted this onto rootstock and I did know the variety at one time, but I didn't write it down. So if you are interested in growing this apple, I can get you some cuttings. You can send a donation on Patreon or something. Just let me know. So in a few minutes, we'll take this in and we'll cut it and show you what it's like inside. But let's look at some of the other apples. So this tree, this tree is Thompson King and it, i really like this one the apples are nice and sweet but also really firm so you can see these apples in the bag how big that one is i don't most of these i don't think are quite ripe yet but you can see there's an earwig in there but for the most part they're really nice apples um let's see there were some over here that i didn't put in bags like if you look up there you can see a big hole i don't know some kind of bug or a bird or something did that here's one not in a bag um it still looks pretty nice pretty big there's maybe a branch rubbed right there here's one that is in a bag that looks a lot nicer so basically in or out of the bags the apples did really well this year um over here these if your apples get direct sun they will cook in the bag so like that one's in pretty bad shape and these ones are too but the ones that are in the shade like see this one here they're fine so that's another giant apple look at my hand filling that whole bag up um and there's a bunch of them look look at look at that apple that one's stretching the bag completely um, I think I'm going to pick that one also and we'll take it inside and see how much it weighs. Look at that thing. That is, that is gigantic. It's probably a pound and a quarter or a pound and a half. So let me see. Here's, here's one down here that's not in a bag. And... I don't know, it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll pick that one also and we'll compare the one in the bag and the one that not in the bag. But I think this one doesn't look like it has any worms either. It does have some damage there from something. And a couple little scabs there. So the one in the bag looks better maybe, but it has some damage there too, so I don't know. I like putting some in bags and leaving some out just in case. Um, so again, this is, the ver this is the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I don't know the variety, but it grows a lot of really giant apples. Um, I think 
I believe this one is black Amish, so it's a dark red apple. I would have to look back at some of my old videos where I I know that I knew the knew this variety. And yeah, I can't remember all the varieties, but this these are also ripe. We've been getting lots of windfalls. And this one I think is the last one to get ripe, so they're not quite ready yet. But let's go inside and we'll wash some of these apples and slice them up. The apple slices on these apples are just gigantic. It's crazy. Okay, let's go check it out. So we'll wash this one and weigh it and cut it. It's really stuck in the bag. There is a earwig hiding in there. And it really doesn't want to come out. There it went. And we'll wash the one that wasn't in the bag too. So just the windfalls we have made like five apple crisps and eaten a bunch and family has made applesauce and different things. Okay. Almost a pound and a quarter. Okay, let's see what's inside. Look, the knife only cut about halfway through. Appears no worms. Look at that apple slice. Pretty good. It's kind of sweet and tart. Okay, let's check this one. So about three quarter pound. Probably should have left this one. I don't know if it's quite right. So that one doesn't have any worms either. So guess this wasn't a good example for why to use bags because they both turned out pretty nice except for a little bit of scab but I don't know using bags probably reduces the number of worms around for the ones that aren't in bags too so anyways that's some of the results we're getting with our apples let us know if you want any cuttings for grafting or if you have any other questions that's it for today. Thanks for watching. God bless and we'll see you next time.